was written um, as a personal statement about myself because it's a very uh, it's a very uh, close song to me, one that, that sort of embraces what I believe in very strongly. Female vocalist of the Ival, heartthrob Corey Hart, was even pursued for autographs backstage. Nominated for five Junos, Hart took home one for single of the year, Never Surrender, a song he later called his personal philosophy. I think that it's touched a chord in a lot of people because uh, I think everyone wants to have hope and, and fight for, uh, for their dreams. And Montreal...
Sweetheart's album, Boy in the Box, has been awarded diamond status for one million sales in Canada. That's approximately one for every 25 people. The only other Canadian musician to have achieved that is Brian Adams. Corey recently has been treating fans in seven Canadian cities. Um, uh, being very personal uh, represents a lot of, um, uh, of my attitudes and a lot of, of, of what was going on inside me when I was, you know, younger and, and when I was trying to get my music heard. And, uh, to have that message received by other people in such overwhelming numbers. You know, the, the letters that, 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 that the song sort of got response from the people wrote in and said it had an impact on their lives and it, it inspired them. And, I mean, when you write a song, you hope for those things. Mm -hmm. And to be able to see it and, and feel that, that power uh, is, is uh, incredible. My whole drive has never been to make a buck and never been to to financially, uh, you know, benefit myself. Obviously, this this industry is created as such that uh, people in my position will make money, but uh, that's never been my ambition. And I I think that the fans know uh, that I, I do my stuff for them. We had the news a while back that Corey Hart's album, The Boy in the Box, had sold more than one million copies in Canada. At a media conference today at Sutton Place, the homegrown heartthrob got his Diamond Certification album, recognizing this rare achievement. Much appreciated. This is um, quite an honor for me uh, to receive these awards. It goes without saying that uh, it's something that you always look forward to and uh, uh, always uh, anticipate um, or hope for to be uh, the most that you can when uh, you record music. Um, I think that 
there's no way I can accept this honor without um, acknowledging the fans of Canada that I really believe are responsible for giving me this, uh, these awards and these achievements. Congratulations to Corey Hart. He's only the second Canadian to sell a million albums here. The first was Brian Adams. Corey Hart's Boy in the Box album hit Diamond in just eight months, making it one of the fastest million sellers in Canadian history. Hart was awarded for his Diamond success recently and given a special Juno for his unique contribution to Canadian music. At the ceremony, Hart recalled his impatience before he hit the big time. In, in the years uh, before I got signed, um, I was very frustrated and, and I was I was very angry and uh, I wanted, you know, I couldn't quite understand, you know, why people didn't hear what I was doing. This conference with none other than the heartthrob himself, Mr. Diamond. Mm-hmm. Corey Hart finally got his Diamond Award. He went Diamond, what, about a week and a half ago now? About that. Yeah, and, uh, well, there's a major, major press conference. It was while I was away. I said, don't don't you dare do it while I'm away. And, and he, he couldn't did. help it. Like it. it wasn't his fault, really. I know he tried to hold it off just for you. But major press event. Everybody was there. A million cameras. And this is just a little bit of what it looked like. This is um, quite an honor for me uh, to receive these awards. It goes without well saying that uh, it's something that you always look forward to and uh, uh, always uh, anticipate um, or hope for achieving uh, the most that you can when uh, you record music. Um, I think that there's no way I can accept this honor without um, acknowledging the fans of Canada that I really believe are responsible for giving me this, uh, these awards and these achievements. So uh, I'm going to try to make this very succinct because there's uh, uh, a truckload of people that I could thank and it would go on forever. But um, I think that um, what I feel right now is uh, the fans of Canada have given me this honor and uh, I'd like to thank them. So thank you, everybody. And he also got a special award, a special Juno Award, from Peter Steinmetz, president of the Canadian Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, that honored Corey for both his success and also for bringing attention of the world to Canadian artists. And he got it in a special frame and chum chart from John Mason <laughs> for his Never Surrender. And uh, he talked a little bit, people asked him about acting and stuff, and he said that, yes, it was true that he did turn down the part that Michael J. Fox played in Back to the Future. He also but, turned down a part in, I can't remember the name of the soap opera, but it was dealing with a lot of ladies. I know, uh, almost like a false, what was it, what was it? Paper, Paper, Paper Dolls, dolls right? John Waite which John there. Waite did take. Well, he said he had no regrets about turning down that part and both, and uh, now he's concentrating on music. So Wait till Miami Vice later, calls him, though. Wait till Miami Vice calls <laughs> Oh, they probably already have. But I think that Corey is being really, really intelligent with his career, and he's not giving in to things that could make him a star instantly mm -hmm. under a different vehicle. He's doing it under his own name, he's doing it with his own music, and that's the way to do it if you want to be a lasting star. That's right.